Ramirez here on NBC Sports World. We'll be back to take a close-up look at both fighters in just a moment. Back in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we're moments away from fight time. Edwin Rosario defending his WBC lightweight championship against Jose Luis Ramirez. It was May of 1983 when they met here in San Juan for the championship. Rosario with that early advantage in the bout. Ramirez came on strong in the final rounds, and Rosario won by decision. A decision that was questioned by Ramirez and his people. So today, a second chance for the 25-year-old Ramirez against Edwin Rosario. This past March, Rosario back in the ring after a 10-month layoff, and he stopped Roberto Elizondo in the first round to defend his title. This past June, another title defense, another decision that was questioned with Rosario defeating Howard Davis, knocking Davis down twice in the bout. Jose Luis Ramirez has lost only four times in 88 bouts, one of the losses at the hands of Ray Mancini. But today, Ramirez presented with a title shot once again. I mean, it's the last time you faced the champion, you waited too long. You waited until the final four rounds, and then it looked like you were going to blow him out of the water. But it was only a 12-round fight, and he maintained his championship. How are you going to fight differently this time? Bueno, yo voy a salir del primer well, round a cortar la pelea desde el que están en la campana, voy a tirar golpes. Right off the bell. Otra ocasión me faltó este tirar golpes del primer round, por eso no gané. Punches in the first round, that's why I didn't win. Champ, the last time you fought Ramirez, you started out like a house of fire, and then you ran out of gas for the last four rounds. People thought if it was a 15-round fight, you would have lost the title instead of 12 rounds. Are you going to do anything different this time? Sí, creo que para esta pelea habrá una gran diferencia. Ya que para la primera pelea entre José y Ramirez y yo. I had a long layoff, and I also had an injured hand with 13 months of the layoff. But it stopped me from getting to the final, and this time I'm going to win the fight mentally and physically, and we'll finish this fight any way we can with a knockout. And here is Jose Luis Ramirez in the ring. Ramirez, Mexico's answer to Sean O'Grady with 88 pro fights at the age with a fight in a moment. Back in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where it has been raining on and off, Marv Albert, the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco, were just about set for fight time, so let's go to the ring and pick it up with the ring announcer, B.B. Marrero. Representado esta tarde aquí por el deportista Art Lurry. La Comisión de Boxeo de Puerto Rico, representada por Agustín Martínez. En la esquina roja de México, pesando 135 libras, con récord de 88 triunfos y solo cuatro reveses. Con truza roja, el retador número uno del título, José Luis Ramírez. José Luis Ramírez, 84 and 4, 70 by knockout. He's a southpaw. In fact, in the last meeting against Rosario, Rosario had difficulty with the southpaw stance of Ramírez. And instead of moving away from the left hand, moves clockwise, going right into it. And the hometown product, 21-year-old Edwin Rosario from Toa Baja, Puerto Rico. Okay, gentlemen, we've been over the rules in the dressing room. <laughs> I intend to enforce them. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to listen to me. May the best man win. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. And the referee is Texan Steve Clawson. Scoring on the 10-point must system.
system. The judges, Rudy Ortega from California, Chuck Cassett out of California, Tony Castellano from New York. Edwin Rosario defending his WBC lightweight championship against Jose Luis Ramirez. A three knockdown rule is waived. There is a mandatory eight, no standing eight, and the bell does not save the fighter except... No. Fight was an even started before Rosario had figured out the style of Ramirez. And now watch what a flash knockdown looks like. For the rest of the round, he was not able to avoid that right hand. There he goes, right hand, right on the button. Let's look from the other angle and see the effectiveness of that blow. defense of this title. Ramirez ranked number one in the division. Ramirez's last fight, June 2nd, won by 10-round decision over Martin Flores from California. And this, a rematch to the bout that took place in May of 83 that saw Rosario get off quickly, and then Ramirez come on strong. But this one, all Rosario. Now Ramirez had a plan, but has so often putting Ramirez down and Steve Crossan sending Rosario to the neutral quarter all right all right a minute gone by second round Ramirez now fighting on instinct he got hammered by Rosario those were a series of stunning blows Rosario punting with sharp Stinging punches, measuring his man. And that 
Chanting Chapel. That is the nickname of Edwin Rosario. A flash knockdown in round one. A combination that put Ramirez down here in the second round. Again, Ramirez pinned to the corner. That's where he caught all that punishment in the first round. A lot of time remaining. And bear in mind, Rosario is fresh. Another rough round for Jose Luis Ramirez off this combination, Rosario putting Ramirez down. Rosario looking impressive. And this is round three. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Bernie Pacheco, were outdoors in the rain. It is an intermittent rain here at the Hiram Bithorn Stadium in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The doctor from the WBC came in, examined Ramirez, said he's okay, he's talking well, his reflexes are good, and he let him go back out. Ramirez trying to recover. He has no strength in his punches right now to hold off Ramirez, uh, Rosario. However, Rosario will not let him catch his breath. He's right on top of him. Today, there was that stunning first round knockout of the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship fight with Juan Kit Meza stopping Jaime Garza in the first round, going in Garza 40 and 038 by knockout. And uh, oh, he just hit Rosario! Rosario's legs folded. What a turnaround! So, here is Ramirez back and has Rosario. We're reacting to the shocking news of Mesa knocking out Jaime Garza. In comes Ramirez and almost upsets the apple cart. A quick left hand by Rosario. Ramirez now looks the worst for wear and tear. They're both exchanging evenly, though. He looks much sharper and much crisper than does Rosario, who looks exhausted. And we're final second.
Jose Luis Ramirez with that stunning left hook to connect on Edwin Rosario to turn this around. Ramirez put down in the first round on a flash knockdown in the second off the combination by Rosario. This is round four. Edwin Rosario in the black. And Jose Luis Ramirez in the red. Edwin Rosario, 24 and 0, 21 by knockout. He comes off that 12-round decision over Howard Davis last June here in San Juan. And Ramirez at 84 and 4, 70 by knockout. And has turned things around. Anybody that saw those first two rounds would not give Ramirez a plug nickel, and yet he came out in the third round and turned it around. Coming off their previous fight for the title, Ramirez says he has much respect for Rosario. In fact, he says Rosario hits harder than Alexis Arguello at his feet and sustains more. Well, if he does, Ramirez takes it like a rock because he was hammered in those first two. Halfway mark, round four. Good counter by Rosario. Rosario can still land a dangerous right hand anytime he throws it, but he is now wary of Ramirez. He's not going in, slugging all defenses down. He's being cautious now. It's getting tough now. It's getting in the trenches. This is where Ramirez wanted it.
Jose Luis Ramirez is the new WBC lightweight champion of benching the loss they fought for the title back in May of 83. About won by Rosario in a controversial decision. We'll be back to talk with Ramirez in a moment. In San Juan, Puerto Rico, a new WBC lightweight champion has been crowned, Jose Luis Ramirez, stopping Edwin Rosario after Rosario appeared to be on his way to putting Ramirez away in the early round. The fight doctor is between Rosario and Ramirez. Let's go to the ring. Ramirez, primero felicitaciones en la pelea. En el primer asalto se sorprendió. Bastante fuerte, me, me sorprendió con una derecha muy fuerte, no la miré. Me levanté un poco lastimado, pero gracias a Dios me repuse. I asked him if he was surprised in the first round. He said yes, by a right hand, which I couldn't avoid most of the fight. I got up dizzy, but I was able to continue. Tú tenías esperanza de recuperarte en los dos o tres rounds como hiciste. Sí, porque ya me conozco, aguanto bastante castigo. Él es el segundo peleador que me tumba después de Rubén Olivares. He said, I asked him whether he thought he could recover from those two early knockdowns. He said, yes, I've only been knocked down twice in my 80-some-odd career, and this was the second man to knock me down, and I thought I could come back and recover. Pensaste que pudiste noquear al campeón en tan fácil? Sí, porque pego bastante regular, y luego este ya lo conocía, y es un peleador muy fuerte. I asked him if he thought he could knock out Rosario. He said, yes, I'm a heavy banger, and I knew if I could get to him, I could knock him out. Revancha, puede ser. Como no, él, como él me la dio, yo también se la doy. Rematch, can it be? And the champion says, yes. As Rosario gave me the chance, I am going to give him the chance at a rematch, and it should be a barn burner. Rosario. Esta pelea muy fuerte. Tú estabas confiado en los primeros dos rounds que iba a ganar fácil. No, no estuve confiado porque yo sé que es un peleador muy fuerte. Como todos acabamos de ver, pues, el primer asalto, los primeros asaltos hasta el cuarto asalto, que creo que fue que terminó la pelea, estuvimos entre dos peleadores fuertes, que cualquiera de los dos, poder, podría haber un knockout de cualquiera de los dos. I asked him if he was confident after the first and second rounds that he had this fight under control. He said, no, when you're in a fight with a man of this caliber, you know it's not over until you see the final bell. Unfortunately, in the fourth round, he got knocked out. And we see in the replay, ahí se puede ver como tiraste a Ramírez en, el, en la pelea. Pensabas que esa derecha recta siempre estaba entrando, lo podías noquear con él. Bueno, siempre le estuvo entrando a la derecha, es que a casi todos los zurdos le entra a la recta de derecha. Y a él más o menos es un peleador que no tiene defensa, un peleador que es fuertísimo, pero no es defensivo. I asked him if that straight right hand, which was doing the damage, could be repeated, and did he think it would end up the fight with that right hand? He said, yes, this is a lefty that can get hit by the right hand, and therefore, he thought he could get him out. La revancha, lo quieres? Creo que se abrió una, una revancha, yo sería el vencedor. All right, the rematch, yes, he wants it. Just as he gave it to him, he wants it back. It should be a tremendous fight. And now back to Marv Albert at ringside. All right, Ferdy, 2.52 the time, round four on a rainy day in San Juan, Puerto Rico. A new champion has been crowned, Jose Luis Ramirez.